The Night Before Mother's Day Written by Natasha Wing Illustrated by Amy Woomer Twas the night before Mother's Day, when as quiet as a mouse, Dad told us his plan to get Mom out of the house. Her sneakers were set by the doorway with care, in hopes that her running pals soon would be there. Then out in the yard there rose quite a crowd. Come on, let's go, girl, her friend shouted real loud. So Mom in her sweatsuit and red baseball cap plugged in her earphones and jogged off in a snap. Away to the kitchen we flew like a flash, as if we were running a 100-yard dash. We measured and mixed a delicious cake batter, then blended the frosting. Oops! Way too much splatter. We made fancy cards, adding our I love yous and a special coupon that Mom sure could use. When Mom came home, she saw the mess in the sink. What'd I miss? she asked. Nothing, Dad said with a wink. We children then nestled, all snug in our beds, while visions of Mom danced in our heads. The next morning we presented a giant bouquet it's for you, Mom, we cried. Happy Mother's Day! She read both our cards, and after wiping her eyes, said a private spa session. What a lovely surprise! We took Mom to the kitchen where our spa was set up. Dad served her black coffee in an extra large cup. We rubbed her shoulders. We massaged her feet. Mom sighed and smiled. You kids are so sweet. I wrapped a towel turban to cover her hair, and we dabbed on a mud mask. No mess anywhere. I painted her nails. What glittery fun! A top coat of polish. Voila! Manicure done! Dad said, the chef will be serving a divine gourmet brunch. That's a meal that comes between breakfast and lunch. So Mom hurried off to go get dressed. We took seats at the table behaving our best. When what would our wandering eyes should appear? But the perfect model for Mother of the Year. Her eyes, how they sparkled. Her brown hair, how curly. Her cheeks were like roses, her skirt very twirly. We raised our juice glasses and offered a toast to the world's greatest mom, and that's not a boast. Mom thanked us for everything. It brought her such cheer. She wished it could be Mother's Day every day of the year. Storytime Anytime would like to give a huge shout out to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe. Want to check out the last story we read? Here's the link. Do you have a favorite book you want read aloud? Leave it in the comments below.